we're going to draw these adorable llama today and we're going to end up decorating them with some different textures and pattern um, we're going to start off with a colored piece of paper you can choose whatever color you like and i actually have a how to draw a llama step by step on your table so you can look at this and follow along uh, so we're going to start off right in the middle of our page. We're going to make him big. Um, we want to put his little puff of hair on his face. So we're going to use our oil pastels. And we're going to draw this like cloud-like shape right in the middle of your page. You can make yours bigger, smaller, fluffier. It's your decision. Step two is we're going to do his face. And it's just going to be a big U shape going down and back up. And now we're gonna draw his body. And we're gonna use the scalloped or that M line. So we're gonna start up here on his little poofy head and we're gonna do M, M, M line down on both sides to make our llama's body. Now we're gonna finish its ears off by drawing a little curve up like a C and a curve down like a C back. We're going to do that the other way on the other side. And that is our llama's ears. Then we're going to draw his face. So right in the middle, we're going to draw a big circle to be the outside of his mouth and nose. And then we're going to put a little nose here and draw a line down and over to be his mouth and two circles to be the eyes. There's my llama. Now you can decorate your llama's head using um, a couple different ways. If you would like to have something coming down from his ears, okay, like the circle, triangle, circle, triangle, or maybe you put some roses on his head, okay, that's easy. It's just three circles. So I'm going to do one rose in the middle here with a spiral on the inside like this but I want to mix mine up a little bit I want to put uh, something like this coming from that so I'm going to draw a line that goes up on both sides like a string and I'm going to have a triangle hanging and then a circle hanging triangle you can decorate yours however you want with whatever line you want now I'm going to go to the bottom and later we're going to add this little collar of a uh, little colorful puff. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that like a necklace. It's a big U shape. Let's go ahead and add that now. And the last thing we're gonna do before we start to paint is we've gotta add some texture on our llama. So on the back of the sheet, there are all different types of textures that you can add to your llama. So choose something from here and I want you to Put it on his fur not on his face but on his fur I think I'm gonna choose this squiggly line or the loop-de-loop -loop line so I'm gonna go on one side and I'm gonna start making my loop-de-loop -loop line now when we draw our lines we know when we get to our art do we keep drawing no we lift our oil pastel up and go to the other side so I'm drawing till I get to his face lift up till I get to the other side I'm just gonna keep drawing my squiggly lines. You don't have to do a squiggly line. You can do an X or stripes or these spirals. You choose one that you want to do on your llama. Okay. And we're also gonna add something to our background. On this one, I put some spirals and some squiggly lines. Uh, this one, I put some little lines going everywhere in different directions. I want you to choose something to go in your background. So I think I'm just gonna put some V's in a spiral, in a spiral, and some V's in a spiral, V, V. You can use anything as decoration. Just kind of decorate your background with different shapes or lines or whatever you can. Okay, 
we're done with that we're going to put our oil pastel down and away and we're going to get our paint out and we're going to paint our entire llama white today just the llama we're not painting our background uh, we're not painting uh, around our llama we're just going to paint our entire llama white so Take your water, dip it in your white, roll it around for a little bit. We want to get quite a bit of white on there. And go ahead and start and paint your whole llama white. Stay inside the line that you drew. You can paint right over your decorations. Uh, next week we'll come back and we'll paint our decorations a different color. Can go right over the oil pastel because remember the oil pastel is magic and it'll just appear. So just keep going. Cover our whole llama. All right, now that our llama is colored white or painted white, if you see any spots that are starting to soak in and lighten up a little bit, you can go back over them and maybe even put a second coat on there to make it even more white. So just keep an eye out as it starts to dry sometimes some spots are showing up that maybe needs a second coat so if so just do that now and then we're going to take these to the drying rack we know how to carry our art to the drying rack make sure you carry it like a lunch tray and then next week we will paint our decorations with a pretty color and then we will glue on some fun um pom-poms just to add some pizzazz today we're going to finish our llama drawings we're going to add a, just a tad bit of color to this and then maybe some little pom-pom just for fun so last week we drew our llamas and we painted it white we don't have very much to paint today we just have a few little spots of decorations to paint so we're going to do that really quickly and we know how to paint we know how to get our brush wet and take it to your paint mix it up make paint soup and then we're just going to add a little bit of color to your art uh, and this won't take very long once you switch colors make sure you wash your brush off really really well uh, rub your drippy off on the edge we do not want uh, to mess our paints up Every time you switch colors, oops, go outside the line. So that's all I need. That's all the spots I have to paint. So while that's drying, we're going to go to the bottom. Remember we drew that line across our paper was just going to be this little kind of necklace of pom-poms here. But we already put that line down there. So we're going to take some of these little pom-poms and we're going to line them up any way you want um, across the bottom, that line that you drew. And you don't need a whole bunch. We're just going to put a couple... <coughs> few maybe six or seven across the bottom and what we're gonna do is <clears throat> we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna go ahead and start gluing these on and to get these to stay it's gonna be pretty tough we're gonna use our glue and we're gonna have to squeeze it to make get the glue going a little bit a little squeeze 
And we're going to lift up and we're going to dab and kind of squeeze until we have a good little puddle of glue there. Once you see a puddle of glue, you can go ahead and stick your pom-pom on there. And I want you to hold it for a little bit because we really want these to stay. And then you'll go to the next spot and you'll put a puddle of glue there and you'll stick that pom-pom on and you'll squish it down, hold it with your finger, and then go to the next spot. We really want these to stick on here. So we're gonna have to work extra hard to get them to stay. And just line up that bottom with a few little fun pom-poms. Stay on that line that you drew. Now if you move this around, they're going to all fall off. We do not want to do that. We do not want to move these around. And if you'd like, if you'd like to stick one on the top too and on the head, you can go ahead and do that now if it's dry. If your spot is dry, if it's not, let's let it dry in a minute. And go ahead and stick one up there, hold it down until it's dry. Now, we're going to carry these to the drying rack, but we're going to have to be extra super careful so our little pom-poms don't fall off. So carry it very gently to the drying rack and put it down. Don't lay yours on top of anybody else's or you'll knock pom-poms down.